This is Tanks Vlog, June 17, 2019, wrapping up the day in sports. It was Father's Day, so that meant the fourth found, the final round of the 2019 U.S. Open. Take us to Pebble Beach. We are Gary Woodland, based on his strong second round and a solid third round, remained in first place. However, charging up the leaderboard was two-time defending champion Brooks Kepka. Kepka was able to get it down to one stroke, but never was able to get that put-away stroke, was never able to get the big shot when he needed it. Now, now Kepka, amazing performance again. He's, uh, in the last couple of years, he's won four majors and finished twice, two times. And that's uh, this year's Masters and this year's U.S. Open. In between, he won the PGA. So if you don't think that uh, Brooks Kepka right now is the best golfer in the world, you're crazy. However, one golfer that's not the best golfer in the world is Gary Woodland. Gary Woodland? Who's Gary Woodland? Have you ever even really thought of Gary Woodland? He's one of those guys you name, name you hear. Oh, well, here's Gary Woodland taking out the putt. And you go... Okay, get this bozo off the TV set, but no, not this time. Gary Woodland, with par after par after par after par after par. Also, four rounds under 70. And he just was steady. I mean, if he he, he hit green, almost every green in regulation, and whenever he needed a big putt, he got the big putt. He... Made all the pars. I mean, I think for the whole tournament he had three bogeys. I mean, if you did, uh, uh, he didn't have the birdies, but he didn't have the bogeys. And you know, you get par after par after par after par after par after par. It adds up, and next thing you know, it's Gary Woodland celebrating the PGA Championship at Pebble Beach in California. Quite an accomplishment for a golfer who's been toiling on the tour for years. I mean, he's only finished in the majors previously top 10 twice. And he's only won three tournaments before this. So, to call him a late bloomer would be ridiculous. It's just one of those things that happen in golf. Every now and then, an unknown takes a major and etches his name in history. <sighs> Meanwhile, the Mets. No, Syndergaard's now on the injured list. And uh, Jason Vargas exited the game. Now they're saying it's just craps for Vargas, but usually cramps lead to uh, spinal surgery. And the Mets lost three out of four to the Cardinals. Now begin a tough road trip. This is where their season goes to hell. Bullpen playing terrible. I mean, they 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 lost three out of four to the Cardinals. They could have swept this series if their bullpen was anywhere competent, and they had a manager with a fucking clue. They could have swept this series. This is where. The just absolute con artist, general manager, the idiot manager, and the gutless, heartless closer, and his running buddy, Jerry's Familia, all failed. And of course today, another wonderful Met, Chris Flexen. Chris Flexen, where did, why did the Mets keep bringing up these trash pitchers? I mean, God, I'm tired of Chris Flexen. Chris Flexen sucks. Doesn't matter if he's a starter or a bullpen pitcher. He's going to give up a bomb. And Paul DeYoung. God damn it, Paul DeYoung. What the, why is this guy... I mean, the, the, the Paul DeYoung is like the greatest player of all time whenever he plays against the Mets. Why can't the Mets just once, just once brush him back? Yeah. 
<sighs> Yankees, meanwhile, bludgeoning the ball like this is this is how the Yankees are gonna try to win now. Ram hammer the ball, hammer the ball, hammer the ball, as they beat the White Sox ten to three. Jesse Winker homer twice had four RBIs. As the Reds beat the Rangers eleven to three. It was the Red Sox in ten beating the Orioles eight six. Orioles just twenty one and fifty now. Twenty one and fifty. Let's let's try to map this out. That's uh, at this pace forty two and one hundred. Uh, yep, they're on pace to lose 110 games again. It was the Rays, 6-5 winners over the Angels. Trevor Bauer throwing a complete game four-hitter as the Indians beat the Tigers 8-0. It was the Pirates, 5-4 winners over the Marlins. The Braves, who are red hot, about ready to play the Mets, about ready to maul the Mets. Now have a two-game lead. After bludgeoning the Phillies 15 to 1. Matt Adams homer twice had seven RBI as the Nationals beat the Diamondbacks 15 to 5. There's a lot of blowouts on Sunday. Blue Jays 12 nut winners as Teoscar Hernandez hit a pair of home runs as they beat the Ori the Astros 12 to nothing. It was the Twins 8 6 winners over I mean the Royals 8 6 winners over the Twins. And the Padres and Rockies set a record for most runs in a four-game series at 92. This time it was the Padres winning 14-13. Yay, baseball! Can we go back to real baseball, please? Can we get rid of the juice balls, please? This is a joke. It was the Brewers 5-3 winners over the Giants. Mariners 6-3 winners over the A's. And the Dodgers in the Sunday Nighter edged the Cubs 3-2. Today's three stars are Matt Adams of the Nationals, Trevor Bauer of the Indians, and Teoscar Hernandez of the Blue Jays. Today's birthday shout-out goes to... Venus Williams, who turns 39. And we take a look back to 1994. The craziest day in the history of sports. Rangers victory parade. U.S. Uh, the World Cup beginning. U.S. Open beginning. The OJ Chase. Of course, there's Game 5 in the NBA Finals, too. Just to put a cherry on top. Of course, everyone remembers the OJ Chase. Check out the story at Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.